we got some interesting news. I don't know if I should take this as a form of karmic retribution, which I should, because given the people involved or given the person involved. But I think in this particular case, because I've been in similar situations, not similar situations like this, but because this is maybe um, emblematic of like other issues that I've kind of experienced within dance music, I'm going to be gracious, not gracious. I'm going to be non petty and just say this is sad to hear in the first place. So this is courtesy of River Moon. Uh, big up river on twitter and um, the twitter account is kiss me river and they tweeted the following just experienced the wildest racist shit in the club we're at this caribbean party and julian huxtable is playing and some random white girl and a group of her white twinks pretend to work there and tell her to finish up so the white girl just plugs in her usb and starts DJing. <laughs> That is terrible, isn't it? Uh, the one and only Juliana Hoxable and River Moon are there playing back to back, having a great time at a Caribbean party, by the way, which you imagine is full of blacks. And these white people come up and just done their dance and tell them to, hey, hurry up, man. Get up, get up. Hey, get... they do that thing that a lot of people do sometimes at parties. Like, oh, um, can I plug in my USB? It's like, no, you can't, you fucking fuck. I was booked to play. You're just some random in a crowd. No, you can't just plug in my USB. That's not how it works. So this happens sometimes in some of the bummy lower level gigs that i play where i'm literally playing for drink tokens and 50 pounds at the end of the night but i didn't think it would happen at their level these guys are famous they're on remix albums they're out in the town they play around the world these are proper proper djs and i didn't think that they still got this treatment but it is something that happens unfortunately for some reason mostly to black people i feel like i don't think you hear a lot of like white djs say that they have these instances where they're playing somewhere and someone's like can i put my this my usb stick in or they try and rush them off and pretend they're playing there to get them off so they can play their own songs it doesn't happen i think i've heard way more stories of black people saying the same thing so it's really unfortunate this is happening but it's also kind of made me think like you know what like you know as i said in previous times um i've kind of killed the story and i fucking beat it to the fucking ground def definitely but that Julian Huxable interaction that I had in Panama Bar that wasn't great, you know, where she maybe came across a little bit rude. It's like, you know, more than likely, if I was a happy, wappy white kid who came up to her, I probably wouldn't have had that kind of reaction from her. So that's really sad because I've seen that happen before, especially in Berlin more so, because I've kind of been around certain kind of, you know, club scenes and shit and what club in the club scene, you get what I mean. And for the most part, if you've been in there, you would know that sometimes like cool black kids have this weird thing when they see another cool black kid it's almost like a little like you know what i mean it's almost like a little weird like, it's almost like a it's almost like old and old old on old old on old crime weirdo on weirdo crime like people give you weird attitudes or maybe they think they're gonna, you're gonna take their little white girls i don't know what it is but i would much rather we all kind of got on and have fun but again i'm not like the kissy ass type anyway so if you do give me bad vibes or you kind of scrunch your face up when i try and smile or something i'm just gonna leave it there and just keep it moving but it's unfortunate because there's not many of us out do you know what I mean so if you see one of us you see someone that looks like you you know just a little head nod or a little like spud what's the what's the harm in that what's wrong with that because I'm never gonna I would never do them like that I don't think we would ever do each other like that like you're playing someone and pretend oh yeah I'm playing like, and just rush you off because I don't like what you're playing or because I want to play myself that is horrendous and you'd only get that from unfortunately the Caucasians the Caucasian. So I'm not surprised to hear this in the slightest, but it is quite funny on my end, just because of the interaction I had with Julian Huxable that wasn't the greatest. And then to see now, you know, with the white people, how they get treated, which is again horrible because, you know, you're at a Caribbean party, you'd think the owners would maybe stand up for you a little bit and maybe say, hey, what the fuck is this person doing behind the decks or something, right? That would be more the thing. Maybe it's not even your, maybe as a DJ, it's not your place to like be fighting people behind the booth and be like, hey, I'm actually playing. Maybe the owner, maybe the fucking booker, whoever is there managing that fucking space should be able to see, like, who the fuck is that playing? You know what I mean? Have an idea and come behind the decks and say, hey, can you fuck the fuck off, please? That might be important. Or maybe because it's pride, they just assume that everybody's like playing together. I'm not too sure, but whatever. River Moon continued on with some more tweets expounding on what happened. Uh, River Moon said, back to this. The most shocking part is that the bitch wasn't kicked out. She straight up got escorted to the bar part of the club and was chilling there with her twink and had to, and had it had it been anybody darker than a grain of sand, they'd have hands thrown on them by security. Exactly. So okay, so to be fair, it sounds like the person did get on the decks, which is which is a crazy thing to do anyway, right? People that do this, it's like people that go and heckle like comedy clubs. Like shut the fuck up. Listen to the jokes. If you don't like them, leave, but don't heckle and try and make yourself the center of attention. But people are nuts. The ones who are nuts personally for me 
are the ones that ask for requests. I've never in my entire life asked for a request. The most thing I've ever done in a club, it tells someone to wheel it back. But I've also never went behind a deck and put my finger back and wheel it back. No, I've asked them, hey, wheel it, wheel it, wheel it or something. That's all I've done. But I've never gone to someone and said, hey, I see you're playing your own songs. I see you're the DJ. I see you've been hired to fucking, you know, provide the fucking soundtrack for this fucking room. But can I ask you to play my song, please? I've never done that. People that do do that, you're a fucking psychopath. You need fucking help. And there's something wrong with you in the head. So the same person that would do that is the same person that would say, can I put in my usb like shut up um it continues on and say white queers are so emboldened these days yet if we get loud or decide that it's time to turn this zeus network it's, it's, it's time to turn into zeus network we, we we would be the bad guy exactly chun lee shout out to juliana for pushing through and keep professional and for the girl and her gay twinks i hope your pride month sucks and the last tweet, I think we need to start fighting in the club again. Personally, I can't because I'm on probation. But if we need to start throwing hands at people who harass us or take up too much space in a violent way. This is very true. Um, there does need to be a lot more consequences for bad behavior, like fatal, violent you know consequences where it's like oh shit like i can't do that again like that video of bradley martin in the gym and that kid took the hat off him now of course maybe the slap was a bit excessive but he's never gonna do that again he's never gonna do that again never maybe he's someone that looks like him the same size but he's never gonna go to a grown man and take off his hat he knows him better now and i think in this particular scenario you'd hope that that person knew better but probably not but again what river moon said is true if a black dj did this to somebody if a black dj forget if a black person got behind the dj booth and wasn't known to people around there you'd be escorted in a minute no one's letting you even hang around dj booth just to kind of be around there people are going to ask you do you know somebody and you have to fucking you know give your fucking plea of why you should be there because this person's your friend you know them since school and shit but a white person could go up there in their fucking you know wannabe y2k outfit and all of a sudden everybody just thinks they should be there because they've got a fucking clutch bag underneath their armpit it's fucking annoying it really fucking is which is why i would hope and i would wish that we'd be a little bit more of a collective i know it's different because i'm not part of the fucking um alphabet crew maybe that's one of the reasons why maybe because i exude a certain vibe and people think oh shit i don't want to talk to him but it doesn't matter man honestly i don't give a fuck i just want to hang out and shit so i want to be cool in it so i think it'd be much better if we were all cool and we we're all chill because we would be we'd be looking after each other as opposed to like me going up to fucking Julian huxable and getting like you know go away go away eyes or fuck you eyes it's like come on man like i'm not trying to fucking draw you i'm just saying hey congratulations great set i fucking loved it i was literally dancing the whole entire time but then if that was a white person i think like african shops you know like caribbean shops so annoying you go in there and get a horrible attitude for them and then some fucking white girl will come in one in the fucking patty and they're like oh hi yo how are you all this it's like bro why didn't you treat me like that when i came in you know what i mean like what the fuck so i wish we were all kinder to each other because we could hold each other down i want each other but i mean blacks i mean blacks i mean niggas I wish we could all be nice to each other because we'd hold each other down because we'd never do that to each other. But again, it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is.